Welcome to 1985 Piper Street in Saddlebrook at Rock Creek in Superior, Colorado. You have a nice grassy island right outside the front door with a pet station with poop bags for walking your pet. So the garage door is open so that you can see the garage, the front door, and the second story window is for the second bedroom of the unit. The town home itself is three doors in from the end of the building. There is a path between the neighboring buildings that leads to a parking lot with several visitor parking spots. So if you have friends over, it's easiest if they park there, walk over the path to come in. The garage is a one car garage with an epoxy floor finish. It's completely drywalled, finished walls and ceiling with gloss paint for easy cleaning. There are shelves for storage along the walls in the garage, as well as the step up here in the back. So you can fit a car all the way in and then on the step up, there's plenty of room for storage shelves say bicycles, motorcycles, that sort of thing. Plus this little cubby storage in the side there, great for storing suitcases and tubs. We also have pulleys here for bicycles. So you can use the pulley system to hang the bicycles and still park the car underneath. It's a little dirty right now, but it will be clean completely cleaned before you move in. So as we enter through the front door, we have black tile floor, which again, everything will be completely cleaned. We've got tenants moving out. So we're just in between phases right now, but the stairs are carpeted. You have a nice handrail as well as decorative shelves here as you enter. There are three coat hooks currently to hang your coats as you enter. You are welcome to add more if you need. There is a full coat closet upstairs as well. So as we enter, there is a laminate wood grain floor, which is actually very nice to clean up. Um, it doesn't really show dog toenail scratches, so it's very pet friendly that way. Um, does look like hardwood floor, but it is the most indestructible land in it. Here we've got the dining room with chandelier, uh, complete with decorative shelves for additional storage or decoration. There is a island between the kitchen and the dining room. There's an island in the kitchen there are stainless steel appliances that are just a year and a half old. We've got microwave, glass flat cooktop with five burner cooktop, plenty of storage on the counter and in the cabinets. Great view from the kitchen sink. You can see out the patio window, which overlooks the pond, stainless steel dishwasher, which is ultra quiet. Then in the island, there is plenty of storage with drawers that pull out, full cabinets underneath. There's also full pseudo pantry in the island that goes between the dining room and the kitchen. Plenty of storage on the kitchen wall. You've got carpet in the living room. Gas burning fireplace with mantle. The high top of the counter comes around to the living room. Gives you nice separation. So if you are relaxing on the couch and say you've got dirty dishes in the sink, you don't have to look at them. Here's a good view of the pond out the
the sliding glass door. So you can see the mountains. from the patio and from the living room. Highway 36 is close by, so you can look and check the traffic before you drive out. It's across the reservoir. Here's some of the additional buildings around. The living room does sit above the garage down below. The windows are only a year and a half old as well. And there are new blinds. They offer some insulation through the windows as well. Um, but with the new windows, you've got good insulation. Um, but we did do a cell blind for the sliding glass door. These are extra tall, oversized sliding glass doors. And then we also have the honeycomb cell window coverings in all the windows. But it's an easy slide to open and close. going to bring you back through the unit to show you the main level guest bathroom, which also services the second bedroom, which is here on the main level. The fan automatically goes on when you turn the light switch on. Nice lighting over a full size mirror, single sink, stainless uh, brushed nickel fixtures, laminate flooring, nice neutral color. Both of the bathrooms have large oversized bathtubs, great for soaking. There is a linen closet here in the bathroom for storage, as well as a medicine cabinet above the sink. There's a full coat closet where you can store the vacuums and have additional hanging space for coats. The main level second bedroom is through here with built-in shelving for storage. It does have a partially vaulted ceiling. Each bedroom has a fan with its light fixture. This room has a huge window. It does overlook the parking area. It sits over the garage but is a southern exposure, win exposure window, which brings in lots of warmth. Again, with the honeycomb cell, blind over brand new windows. There are a couple of storage shelves included built in on the wall. And this room has an exceptionally large closet. You could even put a desk inside the closet or use it for storage by adding these storage shelves like this tenant has. I'll take you upstairs to the master suite. You've got nice tall ceilings, well-lit stairway, comfortable carpeting. At the top of the stairs, there is a laundry room with washer and dryer. These are full-size washer and dryer with storage shelves above. In the master bedroom, there is an additional overflow space that you can set up for computer desk or sitting area for reading or add additional dressers for clothing. There is a full-size walk-in closet. This is a queen bed with two nightstands. The master bedroom does feel spacious with its vaulted ceiling. Again, ceiling fan complete with light fixture. The view from the master bedroom window 
does overlook the pond. You get a great mountain view as well as a view of 36 if you need to check the traffic in the morning. The full size walk-in closet here has plenty of hanging space and shelves and room for dressers as well as a high hanging rod for long items or hanging laundry out of the dryer, or I'm sorry, out of the washer that you don't wanna dry. The master has an ensuite bathroom with two vanities, complete with two sinks and a full wall mirror with light fixtures over each. There is a drawer here and nice makeup counter for getting ready. We will add some light bulbs. It looks like we've got some light bulbs out this go around. Full soaker tub with removable shower head and then a separate toilet room with its own linen closet for additional towel sheets, bathroom necessity storage.